What's up guys, it's Meaty Mike. Thanks for coming out. Today I'm smoking up a goat neck. Bah, bah. All right, seriously, on a scale of one to 10, how well do you think that I just resembled making a goat sound? Because I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but <laughs> that's gotta be at least an 8.6 for me, because that was pretty good, so yeah. Bah. Man, I love goat necks. And if you're trying to cook up some goat meat, the neck is a really, really good choice. This is a pretty decent size, just under three pounds. But I'll be honest with you, you can get like four or five of these, throw them in your smoker, make a day out of it. But when I went to go buy one, there was one left, but I was like, man, I can still put this bad boy in the smoker, get some good smoke on it, serve it over a bed of sticky rice, which I'm gonna do. And we're gonna make a great, great meal out of our goat neck. When I'm eating goat, I'm usually thinking of goat curry. And oh, goat curry is so good. I can just imagine it right now, eating it, sliding right down the throat. Oh, it is prime time, but a goat neck, you can get it good and tender. You can see there's some fat on the outside of your neck. And this one doesn't look too bad, but if you can get a neck and it can just be really, really covered. And you might want to trim that up so you can expose the meat a little bit. But again, this one looks pretty good. So I'm just going to leave it as is. So let's get started. Get yourself a glove. We're going to start here with a mixture of a quarter cup of olive oil and a half a tablespoon of minced garlic. And we're just going to pour, get the garlic down there and cover all sides, Ooh, slippery, all sides of our goat neck. Make a mess, don't matter none. We just wanna get good coverage with the garlic on our neck and that olive oil. And now I have some stuff here for a seasoning. I probably should have mixed it together before I made a mess with this glove. But that's okay, man, moving on. So we're gonna start here with two tablespoons of curry powder. Like I just said before, when I think of goat, I think of curry. So I wanna at least implement some of those flavors. So we're gonna get the seasoning together with our two tablespoons of curry powder. Then I have a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of cumin, a half a teaspoon of ginger powder, a half a teaspoon of ground coriander, and then I have a mixture here of a half teaspoon each, salt and black pepper. Mix it on up. Then we're just gonna cover this up, sprinkle it all over your goat neck. Mm -mm. Rub it on down. I'm gonna get you too, little buddy. And go down the neck hole. So we're just massaging the neck. Teaching massage classes over here, and that looks really good. We have our olive oil, our garlic, that curry base seasoning. We're ready to go pop it in the smoker. Woo -wee. A little windy out here today. Gotta get the wind guard on the microphone. How do I look? Nice. Mm -mm -mm. Great. So I'm out here at the Gorilla Grill Silverback and I got it going at 250 degrees. I'm filling up the hopper with some bold barbecue pellets from Bear Mountain Barbecue to get a good, rich, bold, smoky flavor to this neck. So this is a two-step process. For step one, we're letting the smoker roll for four hours, get some good smoke, some good color on our neck. Then we'll come back out and wrap it tight in foil for another four hours, let it get good and tender. So total cook time for this neck, eight hours. Sit back, crack a beer, relax. The end results are gonna be worth it. So stick around and we'll see you in four hours. All right, y'all, so it's been four hours. Let's take a look at our neck. See what I did there? <laughs> All right. Oh my Lanta, that is a B-E-A, beautiful neck. If I do say so, my own damn self. Get some gloves on here. Just take a look at that. That is looking really, really good. So now I got my little basket of goodies. We're gonna get our neck, put it in our pan, move this out of the way. And we're gonna start with a bottle, a 10 ounce bottle, soy sauce Whoop. pour it right over your neck 
And then I have a six ounce bottle of fish sauce. Oh uh, yeah, that good old anchovy flavor. Get on in there. Pouring the whole bottle in as well. No measurements here. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my God. And then I have three tablespoons of brown sugar, help balance out that salt. Give her a nice little shake. And then I have some curry worst sobe sauce from Sauce Guru. This has that good curry flavor. And I'm just going, I'm squeezing. This is a 16 ounce bottle. I'm just squeezing it all in there. I'm getting that nice and covered over our goat neck. Get some foil. Wrap her nice and tight. Just like that. Pop it right back in your smoker. Get all this stuff out of the way. All right, and that's it. From here, we're just gonna let it keep rolling for another four hours, and when we hit our eight hour total cook time, we'll pull it and eat. Mm, mm, mm. If this is not a beautiful sight, then I don't know what a beautiful sight is. This goat neck looks perfect. It really, really does. I just put it over a bed of sticky rice. Just follow the directions on the box to do the sticky rice. It's really, really easy. I'm ready to go face first into this goat neck, but first let's recap what we did a little bit to get to this point. So I just seasoned up this goat neck with a curry based seasoning. Put it in the smoker for four hours, get some good color, some good smoke on the neck. Then we pulled it out and put it in a pan and cooked it and all that liquid deliciousness, soy sauce, fish sauce, some curry worst sobe from Sauce Guru. We wrapped it up nice and tight for those last four hours. We kept it at 250, the whole cook, a total cook time of eight hours. And this goat neck is calling my name. Mike, Mike. That was a goat calling my name. I kept some of this liquid because I'm just gonna cover it right on. Oh yeah, come on, come to daddy. Put it right over our goat. And now we feast. Go right in front with the fork. You should just be able to, yeah, pull the meat right off of the neck bone. Do it right with the fork. We don't need no knives here, no sir. <laughs> That's the good stuff right there. I need some more of this. Don't be cheap, I'm not with that liquid, come on. This goat neck is nice and tender and it falls right off of that neck bone. You have some good salt, that good curry flavor. Some of that rice. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you something right now. This goat neck is yet another validation of why I love to smoke all different types of meat like this. It's just another way to try something new and try something different. And goat meat is a really, really good, bold and flavorful meat. It's perfect in the smoker. The neck is a prime cut, prime cut to try out with the sauce and with the sticky rice. So do yourself a favor, get yourself a goat neck, put it in your smoker. You're gonna love it. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye.